Thank you for joining in. You are watching the End Time Revival. Welcome to this wonderful story of Witness Lee. Witness Lee was born in 1905 in the city of Yantai, Shandong, in China. He was born to a Christian family. At the age of 19, Lee gave his life to Christ. This was after one of Lee's sister was saved. She began to pray for him and bringing him to church meetings. At one of these meetings, Lee was deeply touched after hearing the gospel being shared by peace Wong, and he gave his life to Christ. From his eight days of salvation, Lee became a very zealous and devoted believer as he consecrated himself to serve the Lord for his entire life and began reading different books and Christian books, including those of Wachmani. His life became even more transformed when he met the servant of God, Wachmani. Wachmani became his mentor. He loved the teachings of Wachmani and decided to become close to him. In Lee's book entitled Wachmani, a sea of the divine revelation in the present age, Lee gave his account of how Wachmani impacted his life. He said, My time with, with Wachmani during those days deeply impressed me with the sweetness, loveliness, attractiveness, newness of the Lord. Those days provided a new start for me in, the, in following the Lord and caused me to have a basic turn from knowledge to life. Because of those days with Washmanin, I began to have fellowship with the Lord in a more intimate way. Lee also, after learning more from the teachings of Washmanin, he was so challenged by Washmanin's teaching on divine life that he started climbing up to the mountains to pray, crying and praying to God to give him this divine life so that he might bear more fruit to God. He prayed each morning for months, asking God to be more fruitful in his divine life. At some point he felt that the Lord Jesus calling him to quit his job in order that he might be in full-time ministry. After he struggled with this decision, he finally obeyed the Lord and he resigned from his job. His decision was also confirmed to be from the Lord by other brothers and by a letter from Wachmani. Wachmani mentored Witness Lee also on many things. They together labored in the vineyard of God, traveling together, sharing the message of the kingdom until Wachmani got arrested and Witness Lee continued with the work. Witness Lee loved also to read the Bible and to study the Bible intensively, such that he wrote two great and outstanding books from the Bible. One was the recovery version of the Bible, Vision Bible, which was translated from the original Greek manuscript and also his book by book exposition of the Bible that focuses on the experience of Christ as revealed in the Word of God which took him 20 years to complete. Lee, his impact went even outside China. In the late 1950s, he was invited to minister in London and in Copenhagen. Then several churches get to know of him in the US, to the point that he felt led to immigrate to the US, settling in California. During his 35 years of service in the US, he ministered in weekly meetings and weekend conferences. He made a lot of impact through his teachings. He traveled to minister in places like Europe, South America, New Zealand, Australia. And his last event where he spoke publicly was in a conference in February 1997. Months after that conference, the Lord called him home at the age of 91. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord Jesus.